Golf Central on YouTube. Brought to you by Apex Irons from Callaway. Welcome in. I'm Whit Watson. The PGA Tour in Bermuda this week where we nearly had a 59 in round number two. Taylor Pendrith flirting with that magic number in round two of the Butterfield Bermuda Championship. Ends up with a 61. That is a course record. That is his personal best on the PGA Tour. It is one of only five rounds of 61 that have been shot so far this season. Patrick Rogers had the lead at 10 under with a 64 going out early, but Pendrith able to catch him and will carry a one shot lead into the weekend. It was nice to make five in a row on the front and I knew there was a couple scoreable holes coming in, but you know, it was just trying to make as many birdies as possible and, and see what happens. But um, had a couple good looks that, that didn't go in. The one on the last hole was a nice look, and um, but obviously super pleased with the round. What was the biggest difference from Thursday to Friday, other than the weather? <laughs> uh, you didn't have to play the wind on your putts, probably. Uh, it was crazy Thursday, probably the hardest conditions I've ever played in, and uh, today was was beautiful. There was, I mean, our back nine there was hardly a breath of wind, which was awesome, and um, so it was very scoreable out there, and. Was able to get some putts going on the front nine and uh, just keep it going. You got on that roll five straight birdies. What's your mentality when you start seeing that? To just kind of start to roll with them and see, see how many you can make? Yeah, I knew I was putting good. You know, I, I hit a close one on one, um, and then I think every other putt after that was, you know, 10 plus footers and a couple 20 footers, which uh, was nice to see go in. Um, I feel like I've been putting pretty well leading up to this event and um, just haven't really been making many so to see some longer ones go in as uh, you know give me a lot of confidence I don't know if this turn into an average right but seeing kind of your rookie play the video open twice last year with the move what do you think it's been your most nervous statistical one? I would say probably the first tee shot at, at winged foot <laughs> for sure at the US Open um, don't really know why there was wasn't any spectators there but it was a hole I was uncomfortable with and I didn't actually look at the stats, but my heart rate was going for sure. Do you feel like a rookie? I feel like an old rookie. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm 30 years old and um, played on the court for a few years, and it's great to be out here. And um, I'd rather be a 30 year old rookie than not a rookie at all. So I'm, I'm very happy. How much of that court kind of helped you? I helped you. Countrymen also, uh, teammates in the as well. Yeah, tons. We're, we're all super close, and I was. Living at Corey's house, he was nice enough to let me stay there for the past few years. And um, so me and Corey play a lot of golf when we're home and Mac as well. Um, you know, we, I had two years with Mac at Kent State and four with Corey. So um, they're obviously both PGA Tour winners. So it's, it's really cool to, to see their success. And um, I was just thrilled to be out here and, and get to compete with them. I got married a couple of weeks ago during CJ Cup. But there was a story I kind of heard, I think Corey may have told I'm not sure what story you're you're looking for, but we we actually just bought a house in the same neighborhood as Corey and Mallory, but they uh, uh, just bought a new house, so they're they're moving, but uh, well, very close, 10 minutes away. My wife grew up with with Corey's wife, and um, they're from the same town, so we're all very close, and um, they've been amazing to me and, and her for the last three years. It's been, it's been great. Could you beat 17 both days? First day I hit, well actually both days I hit driver. Um, yesterday it was straight downwind and blowing a lot. I hit driver and a sand wedge to a foot. Um, I figured I'm going to hit driver. If I pull it in the water, you know, I'm going to drop it at 120 yards and hit a wedge on the green and can still make birdie that way. Um, but it sets up good for me with the wind slightly off the right and hit driver again today and hit pitching wedge to eight feet. It was in the right rough and um, yeah, I, I don't know. I thought about hitting iron there, but it's it's pretty wide where my drive lands. So and like I said, if I do tug it and it goes in the water, I've got a wedge for my third anyway. So. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yesterday was, was so difficult in the morning. Um, I probably took my rain jacket off and on 15 times throughout the day. It was just those random showers that you would get and the wind would pick up. Um, but, I mean, yeah, yesterday's round was, was great. And 
I was kind of struggling coming in and then was able to make eagle on 17 and, and hold it together. Got made a nice up and down on 18 for par and to shoot one under was great. And uh, today was obviously better. Is, uh, is this a pseudo honeymoon for you in Bermuda or do you have something else planned or is that a secret that you're not telling anyone? <laughs> We, we went away for a few days um, up north in Ontario just to get away, and um, but I told her we're going to Bermuda, Mexico for the next two weeks, so it's a pretty good vacation spot, so it's, uh, the weather is finally cooperating so you can enjoy it a little bit better. Corey was in your wedding as well? He was my best man. Mm -hmm. What did that mean to have him go stand up to your wedding? It was awesome, yeah. I, I was his best man, and he was my best man. And, um, you know, we've been traveling together and rooming together and I was still rooming with him up until you know a few months ago and um, so he has done so much for me and it's really cool to, to you know follow his career the past few years and like I said I'm happy to be out here with him but for him to be there it was awesome. Last question, what can you draw on past experiences that can help you as you go through the weekend here as a leader on PJ Tour? Obviously it's a new position for me but um, I've uh, had some close calls on the Corn Ferry Tour the past two years, and um, I think that's really prepared me. You know, I've, I've finished second a few times out there, and um, I think you just got to stay patient. And, I mean, who knows what's going to happen with this weather? If it gets super windy, it'll be impossible again for the next two days. But I think tomorrow's supposed to be good. So, um, yeah, it's a, I'm in a good position, and hopefully, just keep plugging away and making some birdies. The young Canadian Pendrith is at 11 under par, right behind him. Patrick Rogers at 10 under par, 64 in round number two, held the lead throughout much of the afternoon until Pendrith made that late charge. Rogers trying to live up to the incredible promise he showed while playing in college at Stanford, where he tied the school record for most wins in school history. Mab McNeely and Tiger Woods and Rogers bested Tiger Woods in terms of a school record for scoring average. The scene at 18 on Friday, Bermuda native and golf professional Brian Morris finishing his second round. He is battling stage four brain cancer, was given a sponsor's exemption into the island's PGA Tour stop. He played alongside his cousin and his fellow Bermudan, Michael Sims, who actually opened qualified for the event. A lot of fans along the way and an emotional scene for the 54-year-old Morris. You know what, I always have um, one PGA Tour start next to my name, you know, to see all my family, friends. It's, ah, it's amazing. Don't know if I ever see it again, you know, but hey, I saw it. It's hurt. It means a lot. It's huge. When you get a chance to reflect back on the last couple of days, is there a moment or something from these, these two days of experience that's going to stand out in your mind? Brad, well, to be honest with you, from the phone call, um, the initial phone call to right now, it's been such a ride. Like, it's been so many cool people that I haven't met before. And I mean that um, from people who work for the tour, people who work for um, Bruno events, you know. Um, everybody's just been so cool to me, man. It's been they're absolutely amazing. I'll, I'll never forget this forever. Quite the story. Be sure and join us on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, for pregame and postgame coverage and live coverage from Bermuda.